All right, guys, welcome to the Jay Douglas Show. Once again, we're still at this amazing event, and uh, we got another guest that we definitely need to be talking to here, Jason Will from uh, Alabama. Just tell us, like, who you are, what, what's going on with you. Brag, yourself, brag about yourself a little bit so we can have some context here. Brag about myself. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty good at that. Right, Travis? <laughs> Jason Will, I am an independent brokerage owner. We have four locations from Birmingham all the way down to Orange Beach and we're moving into Florida. Nice. So we're excited about that. We're gonna take on Pensacola and our goal is to go all the way to Panama City and then we'll see it's how like it goes. It's like the 30A area, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanna get oh. into that 30A area. Okay, cool, cool. So we'll see where it goes from there. So Alabama, Florida, and then I have a team. We're on track to do 100 million this year, 14 sales associates. So I've got my hands full. We're doing our own event, mm -hmm. our own sales conference, Momentum University, April 2019 in New Orleans. And uh, in guys, conjunction just, with just that. Just if you're listening to this, I'm gonna cut you off there. Yeah. If you're listening to this, this is kind of a big deal because you've got Tom Ferry, uh, Cheplak, John Cheplak. Tom um, Bilyeu. Tom Bilyeu, who's huge. Yeah. Um, I mean like, and I, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So this isn't like a little event, is it? It's not a little event. It's, yeah. a, it's a big budget, big event. And we haven't even started, all the speakers are announced on MomentumUniversity.com, but we're gonna start dripping out all the panelists and we have so many amazing people from the Tom Ferry organization who have said we would love to come and contribute. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's going to be insane. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. yeah, that's awesome. so that's right, what we got so, going on. So in Chattanooga, Tennessee, yeah. where we're at, let's bring this down to like a little bit smaller level so we can have a conversation with a lot of teams okay. and their agents because that's, that's really the audience here more than anybody. So when you think um, we're at an event right now, uh, what I'm curious is, as the Jason Will team leader, because I know you got both things mm -hmm. going on, what does the Jason Will team leader hat have on? Like, what are you hoping to take away from this event? Instead of, like, talking about here what you know, what are you hoping to get? I think that's always interesting to look into people's minds and think that way. I have an interesting perspective on this event in particular because, like you, I have recently had a shakeup on my team where I had to uh, demote I had two sales managers, had to demote them. One of them left and one of them stayed. Um, and so we're the number one team in our MLS mm -hmm. right now. And we've had, in addition to that one person leaving, I mean, these, she was a big producer. Yeah. So anywhere from 12 to $15 million producer just on her own. Um, and had, have had two more of those caliber agents roll off. So right when we're, we, we started Team Plus Coaching, when we started Team Plus Coaching, we were a $30 million team. We'd go 29, 32, kind of bounce around. Went immediately doubled our business to 60 million. Yeah. Now we set a goal for like 85, we're on track to crush 100, and then the ship just kinda, you know, all these holes start popping up and water's coming into the boat. I'm like, holy yeah. shit, what, why is this happening? <laughs> right? Why okay. is this happening right now? Right, it happens. So I had to really, um, you know, I was going into coaching with Tom Ferry, going to be a Tom Ferry coach. Had gone through the boot, or we had just started boot camp. I think when you're all qualified the, for that, yeah. Yeah, when all this, <laughs> when all this stuff happened, yeah. and so I had to call Kay and say, hey, listen, now's not the best time for me to do this. Yeah. I need to kind of back off. So I'm coming into this event as somebody who's getting back into not only managing the team, being the true team leader, because yeah. really my sales managers did were doing everything, mm -hmm. but actually getting back into production. Yeah. So, so this has been a unique experience. I think this experience. is really important to point out here that like even extremely ex successful people, you know, they, they say it like they think success goes from here to here. It's just a straight line, but it's like the stock market. I mean, you just bounce all over the place. Good days and bad days, right? Right. So, but it's what makes them successful like yourself, because I have a feeling this isn't the first time you've ever lost somebody that was valuable at the moment. No. Um, you know, it's how you recover from these scenarios. So what, um, I think this is probably a good question to ask. When you take a loss like that, because all of the, every team leader that's watching this right now, you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, there's going to be a day where like, it's just going to change, something's going to happen. What keeps your mindset in check to push through that, or, or tell me like what goes through Jason's head when you deal with those kind of pains? It's really, really tough. <laughs> the first thing I have to do is just make myself understand that I have to honor their path. Like I cannot freak out. I can't get emotional. Um, we don't and, own people, right? Yeah. We don't and, own people. Yeah. And we have, we had this type of real estate team where these people just didn't up and leave. Like they came to me and said, Hey, this is the situation. 
Can I have a bigger split to stay? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I get some kind of extra role, some incentive to stay? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, there's really no. You stuck true to your model. I did. Yeah. I stuck true to the model. And so they said, well, we've, we've got no other choice but to leave. But as we're having those conversations, like, should I stay or should I go? I'm like, listen, you should go ask somebody else. I mean, ask somebody who's been on a team, who maybe just left a team, you know, ask all these other agents in our office what their perspective is, because I'm not gonna give you the best advice because you're one of my top salespeople. Yeah. So just honoring their path, wishing them well, and- you know, That's what I love about you, Jason, because you're not just like, treating people like a manager you're treating them like a mentor like like you know yes you're entrepreneurial you're gonna want to make the income that you've built the business to make but at the same time I think it's pretty awesome that you're saying hey go look out for yourself and if two people can look out for themselves and make magic together then that's when you win right well and I think it'll be poor, important to point out that uh -huh. that's not always who I was uh -huh. like that old me would have been like you know <laughs> that's awesome mm, yeah. you know don't let the door hit you in the ass yeah but nothing good ever happened in my life from all this conflict I was creating. Mm -hmm. And so I had to hit a place of rock bottom and start coming back up. And then I realized that being abundant and being a giver is way more. Having a little empathy, right? Yeah, that's a word that's it's been way more. A lot lately. It yeah. really, you know, the. Uh, you can't empathize in order to gain profit, but there is definitely a correlation between the two. Right. So right. You, you're going to receive way more than you gain um, or that you give yeah. by just being abundant. So yeah. that's one of the big things. So coming to this conference really with an agent mindset on who's somebody who's going to get back into the business and start selling again. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Cool. Okay. Yeah. One last question. Yeah. Just uh, not even from this conference, but what's like Jason Wills, like the nugget that you just want to give to the world? Something maybe tactical or something that they can like say, I can do this today. Okay. So, and some people watching this have probably either heard it or seen it or do it themselves, yeah. but it, it goes along that vein of abundance. So I went to uh, see Gary Vee in Atlanta okay. several months ago. And, or I don't know when it was, but he was talking about being abundant and not worrying at all about what you're going to get back in return. Just be totally transparent. Vulnerable almost. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, and that's the thing, like H3 Leadership is a book I would recommend everybody get. It's a leadership okay. book that talks about the power of vulnerability. And most leaders are like, hey, I'm this guy in the office and I'm this guy, different guy at home. But really exposing people to everything about your personality is really how you get them to follow you. But all of our trainings, everything I learned, we'll do a mastermind on, we'll get together with all 11 people that came here with me from my brokerage to this event. We will mastermind when we get back and I will share everything. But we share our trainings. Yeah. So we do Facebook Live for all the, the, the meetings and trainings that we have. So if you are looking to build your team or build a brokerage, that is the most insane recruiting strategy ever. Just open up your playbook. Yeah. Yeah. You open up your playbook and they come running. Because what's the, what's the old saying? Teach teach them better than their own leaders are teaching them kind of mindset? Right? Yeah, and so. I was just on, uh, just listening to the agents uh, on this listing panel and Gary Gold was like, I become their agent before they officially hire me. And so this is the strategy, you know, become their team leader before you're their team leader, become their broker before you're their broker. Yeah, uh, It's something I picked up from John Chiplack, which I'm excited that he's gonna be at Momentum to share a lot of these strategies, but it's so simple and so good. Awesome, awesome, cool. All right, Jason. I mean, the world to me. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. This has here. been fun. And, I enjoy uh, it. We'll see you on the next Jay Douglas show. Bye, everybody. <laughs>